Hey everybody, this is Miss Mika from Keep Clark County Beautiful again. All right, so in the last video that you watched, hopefully you heard about the history of trash. So I have something really cool because we talked about the three R's. We talked about reduce, reuse, recycle, right? Okay, so we're going to kind of skip over reduce for just a minute. Um, we'll hit that in another video. We're going to talk about reusing, okay? So I was talking about in the last video that if I had a peanut butter jar that I could clean it out and that I could use it for something else like a storage container or I might take a old bicycle tire and I might make some kind of cool wreath out of it or something. So it's really taking your trash and making something, um, giving it another purpose. Still the same. It's still whatever it was. It's just you're using it for something else. Okay. So we have a challenge for you. Okay. We have supplied you if you're in school, if you're remote learning, we did not um, because you guys probably have all kinds of access to things. Um, and since you're in your home and stuff, you can just go and, and save something from your lunch or whatever. But for you guys who are in class, we we supplied you guys with something that normally gets thrown away. So there may be tin cans, there may be glass jars, there may be toilet paper rolls. Some of you got pieces of egg cartons. And so what we want to do is we want to sponsor a funky junk art contest. So we want to see art made out of the funky things that normally get thrown away. Okay, so it does not actually have to be like a, a an actual art piece, but it can be anything you want it to be. Maybe you take your eggshell and you make some kind of cool animal out of it. Um, maybe you take your toilet paper roll and you make a doll out of it. Um, my daughter back in April, I think it was, made, she took toilet paper rolls and bottle lids and straws and stuff and she made a really cool puppet out of it. So, you know, just think about, look at it and see what you can come up with, okay? Maybe you could make a play set out of the toilet paper rolls. You can get more than one because everybody has toilet paper rolls, right? Especially right now because everybody's hoarding their toilet paper. <laughs> so anyways, everybody should have tons of toilet paper rolls, right? So you could get toilet paper rolls and you could make a, a doll set. You could have a mom and a dad and kids and, and animals and all that stuff. So I want you to get your creative juices flowing and I want you to think about whatever piece of whatever we gave you. Um, some of you guys got coffee coffee cans. Um, think about that and think about what you could make that into. Something that either um, you would set out for decoration or something that you might actually use. That would be awesome too. I would love to see some things that people actually use. Maybe you're going to make a piggy bank. Maybe you're going to make a storage container for something at your house. Um, I don't know. Just the possibilities are endless. So if you're stuck and you don't know what to do with it, with your parents' permission or your teacher's permission, you could get on Google and type in crafts with toilet paper rolls or crafts with egg cartons or crafts with uh, coffee containers. Google it and see what comes up. Pinterest is also another great place to go. You can put in the search bar what you're searching for and there'll be all kinds of ideas pop up if you're stuck and can't think of anything. So we supplied you with the main thing. So now you have to put the other things with it. Like you might have to color something you might have to paint something. You might need to add ribbon to it. You might need to add some tissue paper to it. You know, just get creative. But we want you to really think about all of the things that you throw away every day that could be used for something else. Because like I said, our first step is to think about reduce. How can I make less trash? But the second step is to think about what can I do to reuse this? So really think about when you're working on this project, and I would it would really be great too if the other things that you add in are things that normally get thrown away as well, like maybe popsicle sticks um, or your bottle lids or anything like that. Just really think about all of the things that we throw away and how we could use these things to make something totally different out of it and make some kind of good use out of it instead of just throwing it away and it going to a landfill and being buried for way longer than it's supposed to be buried because it doesn't 
decompose right if you listened in the last video um it doesn't rot away as quick as what they said okay so we would really love to see that so you should be getting this video by december um oh my goodness i don't have my camp my calendar ready you will be getting this video on december the 6th i think i'll send it out december 6th so you have from that day to the day that school is out on Christmas for Christmas break. Um, all we ask is that your teacher or your parent takes a picture and submits it to us through kccbdirector at gmail.com or send us a message through Facebook on Keep Cock County Beautiful. Um, either way, send us a picture, your name, your grade, and your school okay so that we can take all of those submissions and we will judge them and then we will have um, hopefully per grade level and um, we will have first place second place third place and we will announce all the winners of that in January when school starts back and we will have prize cool prizes for the people who place okay and we may even have some stuff for the people who just participate in it we would love to see everybody participate in it um so we hope you know that we can reward you guys somehow or another for doing a really cool job and for keeping some things out of the landfill for sure okay so please don't forget you have until the last day of school before christmas break to submit those entries to us on the last day of school that submission will be closed off and we will just take the ones that we've gotten and we will judge from those so please remember take a picture put your name your grade and your school oh maybe it might help to put your teacher's name too so let's put name grade teacher's name and school and send that to kccbdirector at gmail.com or to facebook through keep Cock county beautiful you can send us a message that way okay so i hope you have fun creating i hope you enjoy your funky junk art i can't wait to see what you guys come up with and we'll see you later okay bye